pressure on. Jason Doyle, who started so well, failed to score last time. He will go from the inside in red. Uh, Leon Madsen out of gate number two in blue. Andre Lebedevs comes from gate number three in white. And Dan Bewley going from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Just two points to his name, Dan Bewley. So needs to find a win now if he can. But it won't be easy because Leon madsen has got some pace. And uh, we've just seen Bartosz Smarzik win from gate two. Yeah, and he'll take heart from that uh, very, very quick in his previous race, passing Dudek. Here we go then. Heat number 11, green light comes on. We're underway. Good start initially from Doyle. But uh, Dan Bewley's made a fantastic effort around the outside. He's neck and neck between Doyle and Bewley down the back straight. Bewley really having to wind it on. Fires himself to the front, closes the door. This is more like it from Bewley, but Doyle coming on strong. Tied between the first two. Doyle up the inside. Block passes Bewley. Now can he square the corner off? No, he can't quite get there. That's some response from Jason Doyle out in front. Lebedevs back in third place for Bewley. Bewley comes back, fires himself to the front. Proper speedway here in heat number 11, and Bewley really winding it on. Fantastic opening couple of laps from Dan Bewley and Jason Doyle making moves that we see in the UK all the time from him, but now the race has settled down. Dan Bewley showing a uh, the pace that he's got in that bike, he really is riding well. He's moved out, he's able to ride exactly where he wants. He's got the bike hooking up and going very, very quickly. Beauty wins the race at a canter in the end. Shot there for Leon Madsen, who misses out this time out of gate number two. But brilliant race for the first two laps there between Jason Doyle and Dan Beauty. Really did put on a fabulous demonstration of skill and determination. But it purely coming out on top, he needed it. And uh, he produced when he had to, so he picks up the win. Three points for him. Jason Doyle back in second place, two points. Andre Lebedev's back in third, one for him. Leon Madsen, who uh, was going along very nicely, all of a sudden missing out that time. And it just shows you how unpredictable Grand Prix Speedway can be. But for Dan Bewley, Certainly, this was a really impressive ride. A very impressive ride. It didn't get the bike hooked up off the initial jump from the start line, but he really worked it to the corner. Found some great traction, and then Jason Doyle made him work very hard down the back straight. Got his arms stretched and just found that a little bit of extra pace to drop it across Doyley. And then Jason Doyle makes a great cutback, roars up the inside straight as a block pass. He goes straight past him in front of him. And uh, Dan Bewley at that point can't respond, but this is where Jason Doyle, I have to say, makes a mistake, runs out wide, the bike just straightens itself up going in the corner. Then he decides, OK, I've got to go out there in the deep stuff, but uh, Dan Bewley, brilliant race from him and three more points. Yeah, superb ride from Dan Bewley after a steady start.